Hey guys, I'm back from BSF Jakarta and it's been a wild ride and I'm here to kind of go through the deck that I used for BSF 2022 Indonesia for the standard format on day one. Um, we ended up coming second um, as a team. So yeah, I'm just gonna go through this deck, my choices and yeah, just my thoughts on what to change and stuff like that. Uh, big shout outs to David Adupratama and Jonathan Haptism, my two amazing teammates who played with me on day one. Um, obviously David jumping with me on my team on day two as well, so um, amazing for that. Um, as well as a big shout out to uh, Darren Yeo, one of my Perth boys who lent me this Max Rarity uh, Magnolia deck. <laughs> uh, I would not bring myself to buy a Max Rarity Magnolia deck, so for him to lend me this deck and use it for BSF Jakarta, absolutely amazing. And also a big shout out to all of the WCC guys um, and all of the Perth Vanguard community for helping me test um, towards BSF Jakarta. So yeah, let's get started with the deck profile. So we'll start off with the ride line. Uh, so I decided to use the Zorga ride line, the plus one on the uh, first grade one ride allows you to draw into your elders um, and then salvaging any um, order back using the grade two is just uh, way too good. As well as if you decide to use um, your spiritual body condensation um, on turn three, this becomes a 20k beat stick which hits over a damage trigger um, going first, which is absolutely amazing. So yeah, I decided to use the Zorga ride line. And then obviously four Elder, four Inlet Pulse, um, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, this is pretty much the core of the deck. This allows you to draw into all your combo pieces, uh, allows you to dig for any um, guards such as your PGs, um, and then any offensive units like your Gnosla, um, and even into your Pantheros if you're you know weak on your board. Panthero, if, if they you know kill it early or you guard with it early, um, you're able to draw into your pieces um, for an out, which is really good. And then to the grade twos, I decided to, one, to run one Gabreg, three Gnosla, three four Mpix, and four Panthero. Um, Panthero is pretty much a legit free advantage engine. Um, so good, Soul Boss 1 call a copy of itself out from the drop zone on place. Um, you can pretty much turn one card into 15k shield, 20k shield because uh, Magnolia Elder allows you to uh, intercept from the back row as well, which is absolutely crazy. Um, this is really good. Mpix, amazing PR, allows you to um, protect yourself against any of those control matchups. Uh, really good into the video, and also it hits 23, so everything over a damage trigger. Um, I decided to only run three Gnosla, but I'll explain that a little bit later once I get to my um, uh, order lineup. Uh, but essentially, yeah, three Gnosla was um, a really nice number for me, which made me um, free up a slot for Gabreg. Um, to be honest, this could be swapped for anything else. Um, I didn't really find too much use for it, but I think out of all the um, cards that could have been placed in this slot, I think uh, Gabreg was like the most useful. So yeah, um, just having an out for guard restrict if your opponent decides to commit um, grade twos and ones, pretty much lock them out for, you know, all of your all of their potential guards and then if you um, pop a Gnosla multiple times on this this becomes big and then you just bash and then sometimes just magically win the game like that so yeah um, that's pretty much the grade twos and then jumping to the next slot is just four pgs uh, self-explanatory that's pretty much it and then uh, my order lineup so i chose to run four spiritual body and um two regurgitation so I was at one point thinking of running uh, Wild Intelligence. Um, I just felt that uh, Spiritual Body Condensation really helps the deck um, accelerate early, especially in the mirror match as well. Um, in the mirror match, you want to um, play aggro really early. So if you ever get this, you just kind of pop it, um, call like, I don't know, Panthera or any of your grade twos and just bash for 13 or, you know, bash 13, 14, even 15 against their 10K. Base if you're going second um, and then if you're going first you know uh, you ride up to grade three use this and then grab your uh, uh, husk dragon and then that becomes 20 so it hits over a damage trigger um, and also spiritual body condensation means that 
I run extra copies of every card, so um, which is why I decided to only run uh, three Genosla because um, essentially your spiritual body condensation becomes the fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh copy um, of Genosla. And I found that you know uh, I don't always want Genosla, um, and then just finding an extra slot for something else that could be a potential out um, made it a lot better. And then the two regurgitations, um, this is useful against the Nirvana matchup. Um, I didn't really use it too much, but getting rid of uh, Esperadia or anything that is big um, is really, really helpful. So um, it's pretty good. And then, you know, you have uh, Gravidia matchups where, you know, they leave their Cobras. You can bomb the Cobras, bring back an Inlet, pul um, inlet Pulse, and they just draw for free, which is really good. So yeah, that's the main deck. And then obviously the triggers. So the triggers, one over trigger, much needed. Three crits, uh, four fronts, four draws, four heals. So um, I decided to run four fronts. Um, towards the end of my testing, I was actually running four crit, but I found that the 20k shield was just too valuable. Um, there are too many decks that um, hit for 20k shield and then just having this in hand just made guarding so much easier. As well, it gives a pseudo um, 10k to the front row, which sometimes becomes a problem for your opponent. Um, and yeah, it's just bumping up an, an extra tier or having an extra trigger essentially um, to the front row was just way too good. And I found that like the crits didn't matter too much because sometimes you want to play a paced game um, where you just, you know, ping one damage, check if they get a uh, damage trigger. So the crit sometimes was um, not in my favor because I put crit right and then they hit two damage triggers, then you feel bad. Um, and then, yeah, it, it is threatening though. Um, you must run crits, I think, um, for that threat factor because sometimes your opponent just no guards the vanguard and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then sometimes I found that um, putting a crit on Ginosla and then sometimes hitting the over trigger, like your opponent is pretty much bound to guard um, two 100 million attacks. So you put the crit on the Ginosla and then um, the over trigger crit on something else, and then you transfer the power, which ends up becoming 100 million. Um, four draws, mandatory essentially to draw into all your pieces, and four heals is four heals. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this deck profile. Um, Nothing more to say for this. Uh, this deck is actually pretty cracked. Um, has essentially no bad matchup. Um, Gravidia can get really sacky against this, but throughout the whole day, I didn't really feel that um, there were any bad matchups. Um, maybe Nirvana, but e even then, like you, you just draw so much. You have regurgitation. You have essentially everything for this deck. So. Yeah, I don't, I don't see this deck um, being a problem against any deck in the meta at the moment. Um, the only other threat would be like Kyrie. Um, Kyrie's pretty fat sometimes, especially if they go first. They just generate a lot of advantage and just smack you in the face. Um, but other than that, like this deck is actually phenomenal. And I went 10 and 0 the whole day, um, versing a range of Barra Magnus to Bruce to um, Bastion. Um, Mirror Magnolia and man, like th this deck is so good. Like, if you really want to play a deck that draws heaps, definitely pick up this deck. Um, and yeah, like I've got nothing more to say there. So, this is pretty much the deck that I went 10 0 for standard, 7 0 in Swiss, and then uh, top 8 I won uh, against Magnolia, top 4 I won as well, and then top 2 ended up winning against Gravidia. So, yeah, hope you guys found this interesting. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below any thoughts on this deck or any thoughts that you had uh, for any of the choices that I have. And then I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.